And when it comes to Blender add-ons, we've seen a couple of interesting and powerful tools that you can work with Blender and create amazing things, from geometry nodes all the way to impressive shaders, asset browser related add-ons and so much more. And one of the add-ons that have actually stand out is the Bagger Tools and Bagger Pie add-on. This is one of those add-ons that actually stirred the whole idea of working with generators in Blender to a whole new height, and it was one of those tools that was created to focus on both architecture, environment and vegetations all at once while allowing lots of features to be given out for free. And today we're going to talk about Bagapai Modifier as it has jumped from version 7 all the way to version 9. And of course, we're also going to talk about a couple of interesting tools from Anthony Bagatini, the creator of Bagapai. And this will be super useful, especially if you like to elevate your Blender workflow. These tools and the modifier will definitely give you a lot of features and things that you're looking for. Bagapai itself is a free add-on that caters to architectural environment and vegetations. And so, this comes with a couple of interesting features, which includes scattering tools. So with this, you can easily scatter multiple objects on any surface by simply using the scatter and scatter paint tools. It also features a camera calling, which helps optimize rendering by excluding objects outside the camera view. There's also the object proximity tool, which allows you to control object distribution based on the proximity of other objects. And it also features a multi-layering scattering. And this lets you layer different types of objects seamlessly. Alongside this is the Manage Layer Content and also a Proxy tool which supports for more efficiency when working within your viewport. And these scattering features just simply allows you to scatter your object easily. Speaking of things that you can do with Bagapai itself, this has a full asset browser integration which allows you to pick directly from the asset browser and place within your scene as you can select from available libraries with ease without the need of going through the end panel or searching for these things within a folder. And in terms of architectural design, this can generate parametric elements from stairs, to fences, handrails, tiles, pipes, cables, walls, floor, beams, wire, and so on. Bagapai has also made over a hundred parametric presets available for making your setups and also your architectural designs easier. And still speaking about architectural stuff and how you place things, there is an advanced arraying system which allows you to either array any object circularly, linearly, or by simply using grid or curves, as you can randomize these arrays however you want, and you can simply use the pen tool to draw array of any asset along any given curve of choice. And that's not all. Bagapai also features an IV generator, and this IV generator is just optimized to be fast and easy to use in terms of creating IVs on surfaces, and also uses gravity. And if you like to push the bounds of what your Bagapai can do, there is a geopack. The Bagapai Geopack is a free tool that simplifies your Blender workflow and it enables you to group your geometry nodes and assign custom actions for setup during their addition. So this would save you valuable time and also simplify the complexities of geometry node. And with the Geopack, you can turn your geometry nodes into add-ons. You can of course go ahead and export everything into a Geopack and this would be super useful for distribution and also installation for other users. Additionally, if you like to get over 600 assets to work with alongside your Bagapai, there is the Bagapai asset. This is fully integrated into Bagapai and it comes with a library of trees, plants, rocks, and so much more. It is quite interesting to see that you can also go ahead and customize this however you want. And this library also comes with multiple stuff that you can do from smart shader customization in terms of seasonal changes for the object that you're working with down to customizing and optimizing the material to get it to work and render faster depending on the engine you're working with. Bagger Street is another installment from Anthony Bagatini, which is an add-on that allows you to enhance your architectural visualization project. This streamlines the workflow and transforms scene population. So if you're thinking about dragging and dropping and creating things quickly, then of course you can. This also features a powerful array tool, which includes options of creating arrays without deformation. And you can also create arrays with deformation and this works alongside curves. This feature also ensures constant and stable spacing between assets. So whether you're trying to scatter variation of assets or maybe you're trying to scatter the exact same asset, you'll be rest assured that the spacing, regardless of the mode that is being used, are intact. And the assets that you get for these are high quality 4K assets. And currently, this has over 400 assets that you can work with. They are fully optimized and pre-baked for peak performance, bringing efficiency and realism to your architectural creation. And Bagger Street is one of the additional add-ons that you can purchase and work with Bagapai to enhance your architectural scenes.
The Bagger Rain Generator is a Blender add-on that just allows you to produce realistic rain effect in your 3D scenes. This allows you to easily create raindrops on surfaces and of course it's fully optimized to generate a large number of points which represents raindrops. With high performance to compensate real-time viewing, this also comes with a beautiful procedural shader that allows you to fine-tune the rain look how you want. And speaking about customization, users can control the density, the height, the splashes and also the speed of the rain. And because this is being simulated, if you're also thinking about adding wind effects to simulate a different kind of weather condition when using the rain generator, you can also do that. Another interesting quality of life tool which has been expanded upon is the Bagger IV Generator. This is a powerful blender add-on that is designed to create realistic IVs on 3D scenes. Like we mentioned earlier, with the default Bagger Pi, you can create IVs. But the IV Generator, which is more like a standalone add-on on its own, which also works alongside Bagger Pi tool, allows you to do three different kinds of generation. Precision generation, accurate generation and fast generation, with fast generation being the ideal for background scenes and covering large area quickly and accurate generator adapting to surfaces creating a more realistic network of branches and precision generator allows you to design your IV branches for detailed control. And with the Bagger IV generator, you're not just dealing with the very default IVs that comes with Bagger Pi, but you'll be having access to over 300 assets across 70 preset species of IV. Each of these assets do have their own accurate settings for the species that you're working with. And just like every other Bagger tool, this is fully integrated into the asset browser. And this is optimized for performance and for rendering, it is supported for both EV and cycles. There's just a lot of things that you can get from Anthony Bagatini's page right now. So just in case you'd like to get more of these, you can definitely go over to the link in the description that'll bring you over to their storefront where you can see every single thing that they have. And if you'd like to get the bagger pack, this is a bundle that includes the bagger pie, IV generator, and also the bagger rain. So this is a very useful one for those who like to get them. And you might also want to consider looking at the Quick Compo, the Bugger Batch, and also the Bugger Groove Evermotion. The Bugger Groove Evermotion is a one-to-one -one collaboration with the folks at Evermotion to create an amazing looking set of vegetations that you can use to dress up your environment easily. So all you have to do is create the exact way you create with every other Bugger tool. Draw and then populate. This also offers interesting parameters that you can use to fine tune whatever you're creating. And just like we have with Bugger Pie, this offers an asset auto layering. So you can layer multiple stuff and you can tweak this to find the best fit for your scene. So whether you're thinking about taking a look at the free version of Vagapai and start scattering or probably you'd like to take advantage of any of the cool things that they currently have, links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.